Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken and today guys, I just wanted to take a second and talk about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and do a little bit of a follow-up here because I actually made a short a couple of days ago talking about this because every single week it feels like I'm getting, you know, at least two or three comments on the physical media report. I'm getting DMs on Instagram talking about Indiana Jones. When is it coming to 4K? When is it coming to Blu-ray? And I always just say, well, they just haven't announced it yet. Disney just hasn't announced it yet. But then I started thinking about it, and the movie did come out at the very end of June, and we really should have gotten an announcement by now because Guardians of the Galaxy, just looking at the traditional like Disney model for when stuff comes out when they announce it, Guardians of the Galaxy and The Little Mermaid both came out in May, and they were announced, I feel like, a month or two after. So we really should have already gotten an announcement uh, for Indiana Jones by now. So it is kind of weird that we haven't but so I want to talk about that a little bit and then I want to talk about the interesting comments because I, I legitimately found them to be very interesting in the comment section of that short that I posted and I'll, I don't want to read like too much into it because I'm sure that most people like at the end of the day were probably joking but I did find it interesting I wanted to talk about some of those comments here so I'm going to read some of the comments that I got on my short that I made um, of Indiana Jones because somebody asked me on the physical media report just trying to give you all some backstory guys I'm really just doing this off the cuff but somebody asked me on the physical media report they're like oh you're talking about Barbie what about Indiana Jones Ken that's more important right so somebody wanted to know about Indiana Jones because I talked about where's Barbie on 4k and blu-ray uh, so I made the short and I was like you know what I really don't know but it's up on blu-ray.com there's a 4k spot there's a blu-ray spot on blu-ray.com saying that it's coming out um, you know, at some point it's on there, the slot is saved. So one would assume that it's going to be coming out, um, at some point. So I made this short and again, got a bunch of interesting comments that we'll, we'll talk about here in a second, but just getting back to Indiana Jones on 4k and Blu-ray, where is it at? When is it coming? Yeah, I, I would have assumed that Disney would have announced it right now. And I actually reached out to a couple people that I know that have contacts with Disney and they said that they did get a press release for the digital version, the VOD version. And I believe it's actually supposed to be coming out in September, but still no 4K and Blu-ray announcements. So where is it at Disney? Why are we not getting Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, um, the 4K and the Blu-ray announcement? Again, you would assume this is a big franchise. This is Indiana Jones. Granted, it wasn't the, the most well-received Indiana Jones movie, but Crystal Skull wasn't either. We still got box sets and multiple releases and steel books and, and, and slip covers and all that stuff. Now that's Paramount, so that's you know another reason why we have all that stuff uh, for those movies. And this is Disney, but it still doesn't make sense that they wouldn't want to put this out on, on physical media because the movie... It, it didn't, I, I would honestly, I would say it was a bomb because it cost $300 million to make and I think it grossed like maybe just shy of $600 million worldwide, which seems like a lot. But in this day and age, $600 million ain't crap when your movie costs $300 million to make and then probably double that to market it um, as well. So the movie definitely wasn't profitable, but I think it actually lost some money for sure. So you would think that they would want to recoup those losses with a physical media release and putting out with, with all the versions, the Walmart version, the, the steel book, the 4k, the Blu-ray, the DVD, all the stuff, because it doesn't matter at the end of the day, guys, most collectors, you know, most movie fans, if they have all the Indiana Jones movies, they're going to want to get the fifth movie just to have it in their collection and, and complete the franchise. That's just the way that most people's minds work. And I'm willing to bet because the movie didn't do so well at the box office, it would probably sell pretty well on 4K and Blu-ray because people didn't go see it in the theaters, so they would want to get it on 4K and Blu-ray. I actually didn't see it in the theaters, and I do want to watch the movie, so I was planning on buying the 4K and the Blu-ray to, to watch it at home because I am a fan of the franchise. At the end of the day, it's not my favorite franchise, but... I actually enjoy all the movies, even Crystal Skull, but at the end of the day, this is also not only an Indiana Jones film, it's a James Mangold film, and I'm a huge fan of everything that James Mangold's done, so if anything, I would just want to support him as a filmmaker, uh, you know, getting to make an Indiana Jones movie, even though it wasn't the most well-received, again... We'll get into that here in a second with people's just reaction to this movie in general. I do find it very interesting. Um... 
But it, it's a movie that I would want to watch and support just because of James Mangold. And also Harrison Ford, you know, I'm a big fan of his. Um, so yeah, as for Indiana Jones, guys, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I, I don't know where it's at. I really don't know where it's at. And I, I don't really have a good answer as to why Disney has not announced it yet. Now, they haven't said that they're not going to put it out on 4K and Blu-ray. I haven't seen that anywhere. And some people have said that. Um, but it did get a press release only VOD and no concrete date for a physical media release yet. And that kind of reminds me of what they did last year with Barbarian and see how they run, how they didn't put those out on physical media release, but they put out a press release talking about, you know, the VOD release date. So it is very reminiscent of what happened last year, but it's not that I can understand that they wouldn't put Barbarian and see how they run out, but I just can't understand how they couldn't do Indiana Jones. How could they justify such a big movie? They did The Little Mermaid. They did Guardians of the Galaxy. Why wouldn't you do Indiana Jones? That makes no sense. But there also hasn't been a Disney Plus release date because this is a Disney movie, so you assume that it would come out on Disney Plus at some point. So there's a lot of weird things going on with Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny right now. I don't exactly know what it is. Maybe they're just going to write it off tax write-off and just, you know, get rid of it, erase it from film history since it wasn't so well received. Wouldn't that be something? That would light some people up. And in that, if that's the case, then uh, we need to start searching for some bootlegs and getting that film right away. But again, wanted to get into some of these comments. So I put this, uh, you know, short up, I think on Tuesday, talking about Indiana Jones, when's it coming out? And I'm going to read some of these comments, guys, because I, I find them Interesting, like I said, the 12 fans of the movie, I'm not going to name names or, or who's saying these comments or anything like that, but the 12 fans of the movie are getting restless. So obviously this person's being very sarcastic, uh, talking about that there was only 12 people that liked the movie and they would want it on, on physical media. And this next comment, honestly, does anyone give a shit? Maybe they could put it out in the $1,500 box set as an extra. So... Somebody saying that, does anybody give a shit? Does anybody care if Indiana Jones and the Dial of the Destiny comes out in 4K? Well, I do. I care because I want to buy it on 4K. And the person that made the comments um, on the physical media report, they care as well. And I can imagine that, you know, more than 12 people care about getting this movie. And then somebody wrote, and again, this has to be a joke, but I think there's a there's a hint of sincerity um, here as well. I can't see any use for a Dial of Destiny Blu-ray release, except for maybe using the slipcover as toilet paper. Um, so again, this person is not a fan of Dial of Destiny. I wonder how many people of these people have actually seen the movie though. Um, let's see, that movie was god awful. Okay, this person looks like they've seen it. Um, worse than the fourth one, this movie shouldn't have been made. Okay, I mean, that's a that's a point, I guess. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Oh wait, you were being serious. Let me laugh even harder. So that these people are not uh, are not fans. These people are not fans. Um, and then this comment, who's going to buy it? The movie bombs. You know, uh, pretty much implying that if the movie bombs, it shouldn't get a release. D do you all agree with that? If a movie doesn't do well at the box office, should it not get a physical media release? If that's the case, The Thing and Blade Runner notoriously bombed on release date. Should they have not have gotten a physical media release? Should we not have those movies on 4K? Um, so I, I don't know if that's a, a great argument. And then we got good eradicate that film from all existence. People just are not fans of um, of the Dial of Destiny. I again, I just found these. I was not expecting these type of comments, so that's why I felt compelled to talk about them on the video today. Wouldn't bother me. It's crap anyway. Uh, seriously, who wants that crap on disc? And then there were some people that weren't so negative. They were just kind of adding their insight on what they think um, is going on. I like the movie. I think the physical media is definitely coming. They just want to squeeze all the money they can out of the video on demand apps first, which definitely uh, could be the case. I'm thinking Disney is holding back on this release until there is a demand. I'm thinking that's what Disney is starting to do, testing the waters to see if holding back will mean more sales when it does hit physical. I mean, that's interesting. That's an interesting notion. I actually liked the movie a lot more than I thought I would. For the people commenting, it was crap. So they're kind of giving some pushback to the people, the people in the comment section. 
I, it was crap, who cares? Okay, then don't buy it, which I agree with. Um, I still want to buy it. Hope there's an announcement soon. They just announced Haunted Mansion on 4K. That is correct. They, just, they did just announce Haunted Mansion on 4K with a steelbook as well. And that came out, I think, two months. Didn't that come out in August? That came out two months or the end of July, at least a month after Indiana Jones. That's very strange. I am just now realizing that. And they just announced Haunted Mansion on 4K, which came out a month after. And while it was okay, I definitely liked Indy better. I'm sure they want to get Haunted Mansion out for Halloween, though. Maybe we get Indy in November. And that's definitely a good point as well. But it's just, it doesn't make any sense because Indy didn't do well. So you would think that they would want to rush that into, into physical media. We would get that by September or October because it's not... You know, it's not dependent on a holiday. Indy's not. So it really doesn't matter when you release that. Again, I could see Haunted Mansion then wanting to rush that out for Halloween because uh, it didn't do good in the theaters either. But yeah, that's kind of strange. But I, I did want to, you know, kind of dive into this whole thought process. If a movie wasn't good, it doesn't deserve a physical media release. Aren't we all fans uh, of physical media around here? Aren't we all fans and advocates for movies, whether we love them or don't love them? We still think and believe that they should be preserved, right, on physical media? Or is that not a thing that we think anymore? Do we think that just because a movie is bad or we don't like it, which is a very subjective thing, right? You know, somebody joked that, you know, only 12 people like this movie. I would be willing to bet that more than 12 people liked Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, again, that's a very subjective thing. Should this movie not get a physical media release? Should we not care about this stuff? I would argue that we should care about every single film, no matter the quality, no matter if it was well-received, if it's a critical score of 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, I think we should still give a shit about whether or not it gets put out on Blu-ray or 4K or hell, even DVD, if that's all it gets put out on, fine. But it needs a physical media release. I believe that every film that comes out it was made. It was put out in the theater. It's done. It's a part of film history, no matter what, whether you like it or not. If you didn't like the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny movie, if you didn't think it should have been made, it was. Guess what? It was made. You can't do anything about that. You can't erase the film now. It was made. We can't just pretend it doesn't exist. I can't do that for Rob Zombie's Halloween, and I hate that movie. I can't do that for that movie. I, that movie exists. I can't do that for Halloween Kills. It exists. You know, I would love the Halloween franchise more if those movies didn't exist, but they do, and I can't do nothing about it. They're there. They're a part of the franchise, and you can't do nothing about it. So, yeah, I just thought that was interesting that, um, you know... The, People's reaction to that. Again, I'm not saying you guys are wrong. And I think that there's people are just joking around at the end of the day, I believe. I don't really take those comments like 100% uh, seriously. But I do think it's something we we kind of need to check ourselves on. Because once a company thinks it's okay or a studio thinks it's okay to not release a movie on physical media like Barbarian last year, which is just still complete crap that we don't have that movie... And, and some people don't like that movie. They don't think it deserves a physical media release. But again, you don't have to buy it. You know, we're the, the people that want to buy it can buy it, but you don't have to buy it just because it comes out. I just think it's something we need to check ourselves on. I think that we need to, regardless of a film, if we like it or not, we need to fight for it. We need to fight for every movie that doesn't get a physical media release. We have to push back on every film that doesn't get a physical media release. And... Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is kind of a different uh, video, me commenting on comments that I got on a previous video. I understand that's a little weird, a little meta, actually. But I want to know people's thoughts on this. Do you think that Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny deserves a physical media release? Because I do. You know, even if I buy it on 4K and I hate it, and I don't ever want to watch it again... I'm still glad that it has a physical media release. It should, because somebody probably likes it. You know, I'm willing to bet that a lot of people that went to the theaters to see it actually enjoyed it, and they want to own it. So it deserves a release, guys. Regardless if you think it does or not, you think it's trash or, or whatever, it, it deserves it. So that's the video, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time.